Hello and welcome back to Sci High Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program an Arduino Nano to operate a WS2812 NeoPixel RGB LEDs. Let's get started. <laughs> Items that you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is a WS2812 NeoPixel RGB LEDs, an Arduino Nano, a USB cable that will connect to the Arduino Nano, three alligator clips that will connect to the RGB LEDs, and three jumper wires that will connect to the Arduino Nano. Now let's go to assemble this project and let's get started. First, I'm going to start with the Arduino Nano and connect the USB cable to it because what I need to do first is program the Arduino Nano. Connect it to my computer. And what you should see is the Arduino Nano LED light up. Next, what you need to do is open up the Arduino program, click on File, click on Examples, and then scroll down to Adafruit NeoPixel and then click on strand test. And now you have a new window that opens up, expand it. And this right here is the code that you're gonna to use to operate the WS2812 NeoPixels. So what I need to do is do some slight modifications. Right here, I have the LED count, and I don't wanna operate 60 LEDs. In my case, it's 300 LEDs. So just simply change it to 300. And this is actually very useful because if you're wanting to operate a certain amount of LEDs, just simply change it. And as you can see the code right here, you can change the different pin out. As you can see, this is set to pin six, which is D6 on the Arduino Nano. And let's just say I want to change it for no reason. I can just change it to pin four, which is D4 on the Arduino Nano. Okay, so this code looks okay to me. So what I need to do is make sure that we'll upload to the Arduino Nano is click on tools and as you can see this is already set up to attach to the Arduino Uno so what I need to do is change it. So what I need to do is go over to Arduino Nano then click on tools again and as you can see set to Arduino Nano and I want to make sure that it's connected to the proper processor and as you can see it's the ATmega328P that's correct and now what I need to do is make sure the programmer is correct. And as you can see, this is what the Arduino Uno uses. So what I need to do is change it to Arduino ISP. Click on that. And now click on tools again and check the port. And as you can see, I have a problem right here. I only have COM1, COM5, COM6. The Arduino Nano uses COM4. That's a simple driver issue. So if you don't have COM4, you just simply download it. So what I need to do is go over and check device manager to make sure first. Looking in the device manager, I only have COM5, COM6, COM1. So what I need to do is download COM4, and that's an easy fix. So what I need to do is go onto this website right here, and I have this website in the link in the description below. And just simply go to this website, or type in CH340 driver, and you can just Google it like that and then click on the website and it takes you to the same site. And all I have to do is just simply download the driver. So just click on this link right here, save file, wait for it to download. And there we go, downloaded and just simply open it and then simply download the driver. Double click, install, and there, successful install. And now go back to device manager. And as you can see, COM4 is now installed. And now just simply go back to your program and click upload. And there, as you can see, is a successful upload. And now that Arduino Nano is programmed, I'm simply going to power it by plugging it into the USB port that is inside of the workbench. Plug it in, power it on, and now I need to connect the necessary pins. 
Next, I'm going to connect these alligator clips to the NeoPixels. And as you can see, black is negative, red is positive, and green is the signal or the digital pen. Connect the negative to negative. Five volts positive. And now green, which is the digital signal. And now I need to connect the jumper wires to the alligator clips. Black on black, which will be the negative or common ground. Orange, which will connect to the green, which will be the, for the digital signal. And red, and red on red, which will connect to the five volt positive. And now I'm gonna go ahead and loosely connect them to the Arduino Nano. Connect the ground to ground by simply placing it in just like this. And now red on positive, which will connect to five volts. And now the orange wire, which will connect to the signal. And I have the code set for D4, which is digital four or digital signal four. Place it in just like this. And there, the circuit is now complete. And now as you can see, the NeoPixels are now operating. Perfect. So I'm simply going to push this reset button so that way you can see the animation from the beginning. And there, it works. And there you have it. Now you know how to set up a WS2812 RGB NeoPixel LEDs with using an Arduino Nano. Thank you for watching SciTech. Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.